Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna do a full face of drugstore products. I wanted to do this video because I feel like I, most of my products that I use on my face are high end and I don't really tend to grab a lot for my drugstore products um, just because high end products just, I don't know, there's just a lot of good high end products out there and I just tend to use those more often. I wanted to try like a full face or like a challenge. I want to do something different on my channel. Um, and I also want to show that you don't need high-end products. You can just use drugstore products. They work just the same way. I'm sweating right now because it's so humid. All these products that I have laying out on my table right now are products that I haven't used in a while and that I never grabbed for basically. I just feel like a little old school because some of these products I, I used to use but I don't anymore because I have like, you know, better stuff. But yeah, just some of these products I haven't used in a long time. I'm kind of spooked. I'm kind of scared. We will see how this turns out. Mm, some of the products I was like, is this drugstore? Is this high-end? Like for instance, RCMA. I didn't know that was drugstore or high-end, but, but I then found out that it was drugstore. So that's great. <laughs> mm, another thing was the bomb palette from the bomb. I don't even know. Is this drugstore? Is this high-end? I didn't really know. Um, I searched it up on youtube and like google and stuff like that and there were some girls that used the bomb in their video of like full face of drugstore products and then i read some of the comments and they were like no it's high end no it's drugstore so i heard some people say that they do sell at target so it is considered a drugstore product then i guess but um yeah, I don't have anything else than this for a drugstore. I mean, I do, but they're like bad and like, this is the only really good drugstore product for eyeshadow. It's also really hot in here and outside as well. Like I'm sweating a little bit, but we will go through this together. We're all in this together. Anyway, let's get started and then we'll just stop talking because otherwise I'm literally gonna like scare myself off. Anyway, we're gonna start off with primer. So I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Master Prime Illuminating Primer with Micro Pearls. So I have used this a couple of times, but not a lot because I have primers that I love more than this. So it's just like a liquid kind of thing. Illuminating thing, I don't really know. So I'm just gonna put this all over my face. This does give like a really illuminating glow. It's kind of scary, but like at the same time, it does like make your skin really look nice. Also, I have the window open where I'm sitting right now because it's, it's so hot and I need the window open like 24 seven, otherwise I'll die. Next, we're gonna go in with the foundation. So I'm using the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation. I have used this a couple of times, but I don't really know how to feel about it. Um, this is in the color. I have no idea which color this is. I use my, no, I don't wanna use that because my face. Oh, a little story for you guys. Um, I went out Saturday night um, and I drink only three things and the day after i was so sick i was nauseous i had a headache i felt like crap i felt bad the entire day and i had to work that day so i had to really hold it in and just like pretend nothing was wrong it was really bad i'm just not used to going out anymore and it's really sad actually i'm gonna go in with the morphe y6 brush I I'm gonna put it on at the back of my hand. I'm gonna use like four skirts because I, I really need the coverage because like I'm breaking out because of the alcohol and like the not sleeping a long time. So I have like quite a few breakouts. It's kind of crazy, but um, I'm sure it'll get better, hopefully. This is scary. I haven't used this in a long time. So I'm just really going in with this foundation. I'm just kind of like, Swiping and dabbing That's orange I don't remember this being orange Guys we have a problem 
Does it look orange? I really feel like it does. Yeah, that looks really orange, but we'll, we'll work with it. That's the foundation. I feel like I look orange, but you, you guys tell me, do I look orange right now? Okay, we're using two concealers because I'm not sure which one's like the lightest or the best. I don't know. So for concealer, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal. Um, this is in the color porcelain. Um, so I'm either going to use this one or I'm going to use the um, L'Oreal Dream Lumi Touch in the color ivory. Yeah, ivory. I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Conceal. I think that's going to be the lightest shade of... Didn't expect that. Oh, that's good. Okay. Well, that's a little much. Oops. <laughs> okay. Put a little hair. Chin. Okay, we're done with putting that on. I'm gonna blend it out with my Morphe sponge. I don't. I don't know. I don't remember ever using this before my concealer like my all over concealer i mean it's not bad but it's not like very full coverage you can you can still see my dark circles but like underneath here you can see that okay i'm gonna go in with the maybelline lumi touch and see if i can cover up Ooh, that's a lot cover up a little bit more it is darker though, so it might work. Um, I mean, kind of works. Okay, so then for powder, I'm gonna use the RCMA No Color Powder. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Brimmel Stay Matte Powder in the color Warm Beige. I still use this. Um, but we're back. My camera died for some strange reason. I don't know why. Um, I haven't used this in a while. Uh, I'm gonna go in with, I'm gonna use the Morphe E48. And then I'm gonna set the rest of my face with this powder. I'm going in like lightly, just because like, I don't want it too crazy. To set all that powder in, I'm gonna use the Milani. Make it to Milani. I'm gonna use the Milani Make It Dewy Setting Spray. I like this, but it's very like spritzy. Is that a word? I don't know. It's not like a fine mist. It... Well, I put on a lot, but let's ignore that. It's all over my arm. There we go. A little too crazy. Okay, next for my brows, I'm gonna use the Rimmel Brow This Way. It's like a powder and like a gel kind of thing. Looks like this, and it's in the color um, 002 Medium Brown. And I'm using the Morphe E29 brush. And I'm using the angled side. I'm just gonna fill in my eyebrows. I used to use this little, little quad thingy, but I stopped using it because I I was using it because I didn't have any eyebrow product anymore and I just used that because I didn't have anything else but I do really like it it's really quick and it gives you like a soft brow without looking too harsh which I love I'll be right back and finish off my eyebrows Okay, so brows are done. They're looking, I don't know, not how they usually look, but it's fine. I just feel like the brow powder might be too like warm tone for me. Um, and then I'm just gonna set my brows with the Maybelline Brow Drama in the color medium brown. I'm just gonna brush him up. I'm gonna go in with my eyeshadow, but first I'm gonna take off the foundation of my lips. For eyeshadow, I'm gonna go in with the Balm Nude Tude Palette. I haven't used this in so, so long. Uh, I'm gonna first go in with a Sultry, which is this one right here. 
So I'm going to go in with a siltry and just put this in my crease. I mean, they are really good, but I just have other palettes that I like more. I'm going to go in with Sexy, which is this one right here. And I'm going to put that on with my Morphe R39 brush. And just pop that in the crease in the outer, outer corner. And then I'm going to go in with Stubborn, which is this one. And I'm gonna pop that all over my lid with a Morphe E14 brush. I'm just gonna pop that all over my lid. And then I'm gonna take Standoffish, which is this one. And I'm gonna pop that in like the, the inner corner just to get like some Sister Sparkle in there. I'm going to go ahead and finish the other eye off of camera, and I'll be right back. So those are both of the eyes complete. Um, the last thing I'm just going to do is I'm going to pop a little bit of shadow underneath on my lower lash line. Uh, I'm going to take the Morphe M330, and I am going to grab Sexy and put that on the lower lash line. You know what, I'm going to use a different brush for this because this is just not right, you know. It's not good. So I'm going to use a change of brushes. I'm going to use the Morphe E36. Now I'm going to curl my lashes. And then I'm going to apply the Maybelline, um, the Colossal Big Shot Mascara. Which is really, really good. Done with the eyes, I'm gonna go in with bronzer. I'm gonna grab the Rimmel Natural Bronzer. Um, this is a waterproof bronzing powder, I didn't know that. So I'm gonna use this bronzer and it's in the color Sunlight. And I'm going to grab my Morphe M527 brush and just sculpt out my cheeks. And I'm just gonna bronze up my face. I do like this bronzer. It's like, it's really nice. Um, but I don't grab for it a lot. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna like contour my nose a little bit. I mean, I kind of have one that I can do it with, but I kind of don't. So it's like, what do you do, you know? I'm gonna use the, um, just the Morphe brush with like white handle. I don't know which one this is, but I'm gonna take a little bit and just contour my nose a little bit. Not too crazy. Let's see how this goes, because I usually, like, suck at it. So, I did my nose contour. Let's continue bronzing the face. I'm looking a little cray-cray, but it's fine. For blush, I'm going to use the Milani Baked Blush in the color Bellissimo Bronze. This is such a pretty blush. It's, like, a nice... I don't really know, it's like a peachy kind of blush and it has like a little bit of shimmer in it. It's really, really pretty. So I'm gonna apply that with a another Morphe brush, looks like this. And I'm just gonna take a little bit. Oh shit. Oh, I wasn't expecting that yet. Wow, okay. I don't love blush that much to apply that much on my cheek. Oh. Okay, well. Think I'm done with that. And oops, I'm a mess. And then for highlighter, I'm using the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. Pretty blinding highlighter, but it's a little bit too dark for my skin tone. Uh, I'm gonna use the Morphe M438 with that. It's just like a tiny bit too dark for my skin tone, which is really sad. Oh, and it's not showing up. Why is it not showing up? That's confusing, you guys. Oh. It is now. You kind of have to like build it up, I feel like. Yeah, you really have to like build it up to make it look like intense and what you want it to look. See, now it's showing up though. All right, that's the highlighter. And then, Diane. Okay. Put a little cutest bow. 
Uh, I'm gonna use this like random brush and I'm just gonna put a little bit on the tip of my nose. I'm gonna use my finger. And then a little bit like in the center right here and then drag, drag it out like this. Cause I like how it looks. Last step is lippity doo -dah, like James Charles would say. Uh, I'm gonna go in with two of the Maybelline lipsticks. Uh, the first one I'm gonna go in with is the color Smoky Rose. It's just like a nude, rosy color. I don't really know. So I'm gonna go in with Peach Buff and put that in the center. Too. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my face again with the Milani Make a Dewy spray again. And that's it. So that was the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was something different. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye.